Hi YouTube, today I want to show you how to root and how to fix the missing Google accounts on the Lenovo A750 phone. Now let's start with the routing. For that you will have to start the flashing tool. You click on scatter loading right here. You select the scatter file called MT6575 Android Scatter EMMC file. You open it. As you can see, this is like flashing a firmware, but only parts of it, like the preloader and the boot image. Now here's what you want to do. You take your phone, you remove the battery, you put the battery back in. Now you want to click on download. This is this button right here. It'll give you a warning. Now you want to connect your phone with your USB cable. And that should trigger the flashing process. It'll take a few seconds. Once it's done, you get this little pop-up and that's it. Um, a little jump cut to show you how you can fix the rest of the phone. You might have noticed that um, after flashing the phone, you will have to remove the battery one more time and then boot it up again and at this point uh, you should have copied the ES File Explorer and the Google Apps from my download to your SD card of your phone. Now let's start by installing the um, ES File Explorer. You go to your external memory card, you find the ES File Explorer and you install it. Then you open it. You go into the settings, you change the sort by, you will want to sort it by um, modified, descending. The next settings you want to say, um, change is um, you want to up to root and now that your phone is um, rooted, you can also use the root explorer function. And you want to check the mount file system. Now that this is done, um, you want to navigate to your SD card. Let's see where I can find it. SD card, then you go to SD card 2, that is your external SD card. Now you want to find those apps that are included in my download. You click on select for a multi select. You select the vending, the Google Contacts, Google Calendar. Network location, market update, Google Service Framework and Google Partner APK. Click and hold one of them. Go to, click on copy. Now there are your apps. You go back to the root directory into Wait a second. Into your systems folder, into your apps folder, and right there you want to paste all of those APKs. You'll find your new APKs <coughs> right on top because we're sorting by date. Now, what you want to do is you want to click and hold each one of them and you want to change the properties change and you want to change them to something like this
and the last one is vending properties change done now that should be it you'll have to reboot your phone and the Android market and um, all the other Google apps should be there jump cut once you rebooted your phone you will see that the Play Store is now on your phone it's right there and you will also see that when you go into your settings that um, when you check on where is it accounts and sync you can add a new account and now you have the possibility to add a Google account that's it have fun